And I told the man, what's it to you? <laughs> also, why does this man always look like he's about to get in a fight? <coughs> well, then again, because he is. During the calamity. You, all, you never know what's right around the corner. That's what the narrator would say if we could hear him. I think if I ever like wanted to watch a movie, it would probably be Surfers vs. Cowboys. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> Hey, what's up, dude? You want to play the part of the cowboy? Hey, what's up, dude? Listen, you're getting all up in my turf. Locals only. <laughs> well, son, I was a local before you were even born. Yeah, well, maybe if you could hang ten, dude, then maybe I'll let you get maybe, back on the waves. Maybe if you could hang ten. This is an inspiring story where a lonesome cowboy has to learn how to ride the <laughs> waves with the fellow youth to fit in. The fellow youth? <laughs> Why does he sound like a fully grown cowboy? Good evening. I'm seven years old. But that doesn't stop me from being a cold-blooded killer. <laughs> yeah, that's cool, dude. <laughs> fell off. You fell off. Wait, so you, you can just fall off the edge? You've only fallen off, like, twice. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, you could... Fall. It's really not that hard to fall off. Well, it's really hard to fall off, actually. So, do you think surfing is hard? Probably not. Then why don't you do it? We just made some enemies. <laughs> <laughs> hey, surfers, good luck doing the stuff that anybody can do. You just stand on a piece of... Wood? <laughs> piece of... Yeah, I guess it's wood. Probably skateboards or wood. If we have any surfers in the comments, this is not an invitation to, you know, show how egotistical you are. More of an invitation to tell us how to surf. Not saying that all surfers are egotistical. All just right, some well, we don't people. have to go that far. <laughs> Listen here, all you egotistical surfers. All right, if you're watching the show, go ahead and click away right now. We don't want your kind here. Surfers, I mean. All right, so this part is really bad because, like, they can all basically, like, throw you up in the air. Nice. And it's it's awful. So all I do is snipe them from this far away. Oh, they can just they can just go off the edge like that. Yeah. Nice. Do I you ever run out of arrows? Right, there we go. Oh no, those things they fell. That's not those. No, things. you have you have infinite arrows, and once you kill a big guy, they all die. So. Well, then just target the big guy. What's that? What? What's that? This? What's that? What is this? What's that? Do you think? D tell me what it is. Click on it. It's the core. <laughs> what? And now we have to go back to the beginning or we'll die. Oh, that's good. Oh, what the heck. I've noticed that you've played all the games that have extremely repetitive gameplay. <laughs> like all like the linear Actually, I've never I had never played this game before we decided to do it on here. Yeah. I just I just been like it looks like a cool yeah, game. Yeah, cuz we were looking for games to play on Steam and Evan was like, "Oh man, Bastion. I'm going to get it on my computer." I wanted to play a little ahead so I didn't suck when we played it on here. Has that ever stopped us before? <laughs> All right, so wait. Shh, let's be quiet during this so they can make it here. We don't know when it's going to end. Shh, hey, uh, we'll know when uh, hey, what's up? It's Michael. So we didn't know that it wasn't going to pick anything up. So uh, <laughs> I'm talking over it. Bye. All right, it ended. We just sat in complete silence for the past, like, six seconds. <laughs> anyway, uh... That's the length of a good vine. This is this is our friendly squirt. You tap E and he does a little spin. That's... That's which is weird because like if you spin him too much he'll like throw get up. angry at you. Oh, which is strange. So I'm That's just lame. I'm not going to spin him too Wait, much. Wait, so did you go back to the place where you need the core? Oh, I need to put the core in, huh? Yeah, you do. Shut your fucking mouth. I hope that clips real bad. Probably did. <laughs> we need two microphones. But yeah, so what? Oh, three worst people before we get oh, off yeah, topic. I forgot about that. All right, so for me from 3 to highest Scene kids? Yes. Furries. Okay. Weeaboos. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna have to go with number three, Russia. What? All Russians? No. I, no, no, no. I said Russia, not Russians. Russia the place. So you hate Russia, but not... I don't want to say that I hate Russia. I'm just saying I'm not too fond of Russia. Alright, people that are like Josh at number two. Oh my god. He can't hear me, he's got headphones in. Alright. And probably number one. About shut up, Josh. <laughs> probably number one. Th probably the band Poison. <laughs> I'd have to go with the band Poison. The entire band. Yeah, except uh, mostly Brett Michaels. <laughs> Actually, scratch that. Not Poison, just Brett Michaels. Oh my goodness. And anybody that is associated with Brett Michaels, not counting the band Poison, I, they're the worst. You have very, like, a very specific... You, you have to. You remember? I, I remember we used to do 
like very specific jokes whenever we were in our gym class. I hate to go back to gym class, but I remember we had this one ongoing joke, uh-huh. and we'd spend like the entire hour doing it, where we'd be like, all right, I'm going to make a sandwich, and here's the stuff that's going to be on it. One entire bowling ball. Oh, yes, I remember that. An entire can of lithium paint. And we just go on, like, the entire hour just talking about that. That was funny. It was kind because, of funny. Yeah, because, it like, it was just... Extremely we specific. Would, it would, yeah, it would, we would try our best to make it, like, just obscure things. Like, <laughs> all right, Michael, I need you to get me one porcupine with three quills plucked out. <laughs> A giant centipede the size of three fingers. <laughs> Page 47 from Guinness Book of World Records, 2001. 2006 edition. <laughs> a lantern that's only slightly outdated, Didn't but the you... light still shines. Didn't you say you, you and somebody else were talking about like making a joke channel where you would do like extremely specific top tens, like the top ten Guinness oh, Book yeah. of World Record pages? And it was like... <laughs> I remember that. And it was like, number 10, um, Johnny, that was tra- our friend Travis. Yeah. And um, <laughs> I remember that. It would be like, top 10 cool things. <laughs> number 10, a giant ball. <laughs> number 9, co- and we would always say, coming in at number 9. <laughs> coming in at number 9. And we would be That's like, how all top 10s are. All right, coming in at number 9. Like a horrible graphic just comes by. Coming in number eight, here we go. Let's get right into it. <laughs> we would be super hype about everything, and it would be the most obnoxious thing ever. Top ten child murderers. <laughs> number eight, Travis. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> By the way, why don't we talk about Travis for a little bit? Yeah, no, let's just completely ruin somebody's life. No, but we're just going to talk about, you know... What we know about him, which is little to none. His mannerisms. He was a man. Oh, he was definitely a man. A man or A man or <laughs> Stop. Do you get it? What is this? Uh, they're basically just... Uh, well, we're they're about, basically... We're, we're are, about, are they basically or are they absolutely? We're about to be attacked, so... We're under attack! It's a trap! Sorry, don't sue me, Star Wars. Or do, I don't care. I want to meet George Lucas. <laughs> you stole basically all of our propaganda and all of our advertisements. We're going to sue you until you have no money left. Hey, can I get... Hey, can I have an autograph? Yeah, can I... Do you think... Do you Why think... does George Lucas look like that? <laughs> I think people are just born that way. Put up a picture of George Lucas. All right. But the best picture that you can find... I'm going to put up the worst picture I can find. Put a picture of him, like, his face photoshopped on an alpaca. Oh, that sounds like a lot of work, Evan. I always thought that he, like, looked like a llama. (laughs) Yeah, with, like, the white hair and the beard and stuff. Oh, George Lucas. (laughs) Oh, George Lucas. Why do you look... You're an alpaca. (laughs) You don't don't have to pretend anymore. We know your secret. (laughs) He just rips off the mask and he's like... Wait, how do alpacas sound? They're like... Yeah, spit. <laughs> Llamas are aggressive. You ever the been only spit reason, on by a llama? The only reason he was able to make up the master masterpiece that is uh, Star Wars, Indiana Jones, oh. is because of you know his alpaca ways. <laughs> is that true? Alpacas are naturally good filmmakers. I think so. I did he not was know he that. was sitting in his alpaca colony, right? <laughs> and they were like they were like George, <laughs> George, <laughs> you have become strong, George. You have, you have so many ideas. Make your way in the human society. Wait, so why does that alpaca talk, but alpaca George Lucas doesn't talk unless um, he's got on his George alpacas Lucas Alpacas can talk to each other, I think. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Well, I mean, I think all animals can just talk to each did other. Did you know that flamingos have pink blood? Did you know that I have pink blood? Does that make me a flamingo? Um, technically, yes, but essentially, no, you are not a flamingo. <laughs> essentially. If we're going by DNA and stuff, No. <laughs> no. But if we're going by just blood, yeah, man, flamingo it up. <laughs> flamingo it up. How often would you say you stand on one leg and are extremely flamboyant? Yeah, actually, you know what? You might be You might be a flamingo. <laughs> I don't think we've ever had a picture of you on this show. I don't think anybody knows what you look like. It's fine. If they watched back in the day, they know what me and Josh look like. Yeah. Well, well uh, I told Evan to which dress is, real nice. Which is a great video because, like, it's just like... I feel like our the first back in the day was made like so, like all right. So what, huh? <laughs> so bad, so stupidly. So you use a bunch of stock footages. Yeah, that was the point. Which is not which is not bad. I'm not 
Right. But like, there's like well, no, it wasn't supposed to look fantastic. There's, there's no music throughout the entire yeah. thing. Well, you can hear like you can barely hear the uh, Kirby in the background. You can hear like, and then like it's just it's just like the stock photo. I liked it honestly. I thought it was like it's like one of those so bad it's good moments. Yeah. But like, because we lost all the footage for Kirby, we were like, "Yeah, dude, we're gonna film some Kirby. It's gonna be just a good time. We're gonna talk about stuff from our past." Because the show, I don't know if I said it in the description, but I'm gonna explain it now. All right. I basically sat down with Josh and I was like, "Let's play old games that we used to play back in the day." Back in the day. And then we'll just tell stories from back in the day. I'm glad that we didn't do it because we basically ran out of stories after five episodes, <laughs> I, and we still have like the other four episodes, so we we still have like four other. For other stories that we could post for back that's in the cool, day, of the yeah. show. But yeah, that's that's basically what it. What, we should what put back some. We should is. put some underwhelming music in it, like you know, like just a repetitive, like marimba. <laughs> yeah, like put in Marimba's a sample a right now. It's just like. <laughs> the way that I make all the music for this is I just go into our little like the music thing that I have, and I'm like, all right, what am I gonna do now? And I click on a note and like, great. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good note right there. <laughs> Oh man, A sharp, hit me up. Hit me up. Yep, that's good. And I'm like, let's make it a marimba. All right, so for the next uh, challenge thinger, thinger bobber, thinger bobber, I'm gonna wanna upgrade the fang repeater because we're gonna come into uh, <coughs> a uh, proving grounds for the fang repeater. For the, wait, what'd you say? The thing of Peter? The fang repeater. Sorry. Well, you better hurry up and get over there, because this episode is... Hey! Ah! Well, that's a good place to end an episode. <laughs> we just got uh, spooked. We just got punked. See you next time. <laughs> did that scare you? That really scared did me. scare me. <laughs> <laughs> kind of tingly a little bit. <laughs>